Hello everybody, this is Diane. I've just been prepping some pages and things for a couple of Golden Book journals that are going to be made with O-wires with my Zutter Bind It All, uh, which just binds it with wires instead of um, sewing signatures in. So they're made differently. Instead of folding the pages into signatures, you can just use a page like this. Just one page and the holes will be here and it'll be just be bound into the book like that. So I've been prepping some pages. Uh, I will use some of the pages from the books. In fact, this one, it's called A Child's Year by Joan Walsh Angland, has her art in it. And this is from uh, 1992, but I think the illustrations are probably older than that. But it's for the whole year, so I think I need to use all of the pages so that the whole year can be included. So maybe I'll just use all the pages in that book too. We will see. But I've been prepping some pages. I have just some scrapbook paper, a little greeting card. They're fun to include in a journal like this, and some shorthand papers, some guestbook papers, a journal page. There's another card. And this is from a vintage ledger book, some kind of a log book, and I will bind it in like this, but it'll have, this This could be sewn into a signature like that, but you can bind them in like that too, with the bind it all. So that's about all I have so far, but I'm working on some pages here that we're going to work on together. I have done some of the prep work, and some of them are very quick and easy, and some will take just a little bit more uh, work, but nothing that'll take too long, I don't think. So I'm just trying to see which direction I want this to go in. Is it the same? This was from a 6x6 six six paper pad. So this is still six inches and I trimmed it down. So I think I wanted it to go this way with the that on top. And I just have a green colored, did I? Yeah, I had a green colored uh, tab index card. I'm just gonna glue on there as a pocket. And then I will add some embellishments to that pocket. Probably not going to do any sewing in these. I'm going to move it to this outer edge so that the holes will be punched here. And it would be fine to punch the holes through the card. So let's say if I had it this way and I had the holes punched on this side, that would be fine. It would just take away some of the size of the pocket. But we're just going to do it this way. And I have one for the other book, too. And I have this index tabbed card that I had Mod Podge napkin to. I did that a long time ago. I was thinking about using that one. I think I will go with that. So I've had it in my stash for a while. So I'm considering these um, Stash Buster journals. I'm just going to be going through my stash of papers and embellishments. So they don't really have a theme. I'm just going to have fun. I just love just throwing stuff in a journal without having to make everything match and everything be part of a theme or anything. Although I do like the theme journals too. So let me look through my ephemera binder and see if I have something in here that I can use. I guess I better zoom out for this to decorate these pockets. So right off the bat I see this corrugated heart. I think I got that in a happy mail. That would be fun to add on there and I see this came out of a office uh, old Stampin' Up! paper. 
So that right there is a really cute embellishment for the colors on that. I like that. Let's see what we have for this one. This one is already pretty decorated. I like this. You don't you don't find the happy in life, you make it. So if I used that, I would have to put something behind it to make it stand off of that blue. Because I would have blue on blue. See if there's something I like better. Maybe that would help. Maybe. hope it's bright enough on the video. It's uh, not a sunny day here. It rained all day yesterday and it was raining during the night and uh, it's been raining off and on today but it's just kind of a cloudy day. I might just use these pieces like that because I don't want to spend a lot of time looking for stuff. use my Fabri-Tac for the corrugated piece. Whoops! Drop it glue side down. So today is Monday and it wasn't raining this morning. But like I said, it had rained yesterday and during the night. And it was supposed to rain later noonish, or maybe a little before that. But I so I wasn't sure if anybody would be at the fields at the stockyards flea market, which is every Monday. But I had to go to the post office and it takes about three minutes to get from the post office to that area where the flea market is. So I drove down and there were some people there, just a few guys, but nothing. They Even the guys that were there didn't have much and I think it was more like a social gathering for them. So no flea market this week for me, which is fine. I don't need to bring more stuff in as, as you know if you saw yesterday's video. All right, that's a fun page, and this one is white on the back, so maybe I'll do some stamping on that, but we're not stamping today. I'm using a few of the 6x6 six six pages that I have in my stash that I never remember to use. I don't have a lot, but I have some, and I love them, so I want to use them. Okay, so these are for two, um, one page each for each journal. 
Next, this is a fun one. When I was making um, just smash books, it was before I started junk journals because I hadn't heard of junk journals. Um, so I was just making smash books and they could be pretty good size. One of the fun things that I liked to do was to take a sheet of cardstock and I would cut it to the page size of the smash book. So I cut this to the pages, the page size that I'm making for these journals. I put it on my Cricut mat down in the corner and then moved my cutting blade to the top corner of this cardstock. So say it was this piece. I moved the cutting blade to right there and then pushed the button that said um, set cutting size. So then the computer would know the size of the paper I was cutting. And then I would use the button, the feature that is cut uh, fill paper size or fill paper or something like that. Cut to size. So it would cut your piece the largest size that would fit onto that page and then I would select the tag so that's what I did with this and the tag size was seven inches so then I knew I could put the second piece on and just put it up in the top corner where I would normally put it and just set it for seven inches so this is um, the the biggest size that I could get to cut for this book now I could have just cut my paper and then angled it and then punched a hole but I just think it's really cool to do it like this and have the hole um, what's what's the word I want it fits fits the size of the tag and I think it's really fun <clears throat> and I like the I just like the proportion that's it proportion so I'm just gonna glue a scrap so I'm using some of my um, scrap papers too in this stash buster journal so I love this looks like corrugated metal it's all rusty and I'm just gonna make a pocket out of that and I will decorate that too I don't know if I'll do it today but I'll look quickly to see if there's something So when I did like an 8 inch smash book or something, 8 by 10 smash book, so it would be 10 inches high, I'd have a really big page of uh, a really big tag that made up a page. So I just thought that was fun to do that. Now I'll just look quickly to see if there's something that catches my eye to decorate those pockets. I like this coupon. I like this little daisy sticker. And I think about um, the style of books these are going to be. They're young and whimsical because they're made with the children's golden books, but I don't want them to be just like extremely childlike. I like that block. <laughs> That's not extremely childlike, is it? But it's not a very good color for it. I don't want it to be too grungy, so I'm not looking for coffee dyed grungy stuff. I think that I am going to let it go for now, but I will definitely add something to those pockets before the journals are done. This is a fun little corner here. Oh, I like 
pocket on that one. So that could be another pocket there. And I could put those on that one. This could be a fun element in one of these books. I've had this for a long time. I made that with my Cricut. So I'm going to take these out and have them handy for if I um, have a spot for them in these journals. I think this is a sticker. And I'm pretty sure I got it. Yeah, it's a sticker. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down. add a little glue just to make sure it's going to stick. So this will just be a page in the journal and you can write on this side. I cut this out of a needlework book and I backed it with cardstock and then I didn't use it for whatever it was I was going to use it for but it's perfect for that and of course I will have to uh, make some cards or something to put in those pockets so those are two pages that we have done these are going to be uh, even quicker than that I think these are just scraps of cardstock or decorated paper that I had in my stash. There's carrots on this page and I'm just going to attach a ticket for a tab. I've had these tickets in my stash for a long time and I have one or two left so maybe they'll get used in these journals too. I think I need to add some staples to this because every time I use it, I have trouble with it. So I just need to have a larger supply of staples inside it. I've got these copper staples. Isn't it working? I might end up gluing it. Yeah, because I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, I do want to staple them, so I'm just going to put the paper clips back on and I will staple them when I get that figured out or get a different stapler because I have several. So these will be a page with just um, a tab, ticket tab, and they're double-sided, so they're fun. This one is going to require a little more effort. I took um, the, this State Farm envelope, it was a large window envelope, and I cut it in half. Well, I didn't exactly cut it in half because I didn't want to cut the window. So one journal is going to get the window and the other journal is going to get the other half. And I cut some pieces so that I can decorate the envelope. And I already made a card to put inside. I just took another piece of a scrap of paper and added this from a children's book. 
so that it would show through the window. So for here, I have this scrap to go there, and this scrap to go there, and this one here, and then I had this one at the bottom, and I can add more embellishment to it. That's as far as I got. And then I cut a big piece for the back of it. I was prepping all this stuff so I could do this video and then before I started the video my daughter called and said she forgot she was supposed to arrange for a ride home from work because her husband dropped her off because he needs to need some work done on his vehicle so he took her vehicle to work he, he works further away and she forgot and it was, she was at the end of her shift and she didn't have a way to get home so I went and picked her up. It's about five minutes to get there. Took her home and then we sat in her driveway and talked for an hour. Or more. So I hope I remember everything I was I was wanting to do with all of these pieces I prepped. I'm making two golden book journals with the O wires and I'm going to make a little one with O wires and then I I may continue with golden books. Well, there's a little bit of a gap there, right there. I'll just put an embellishment there. Um, so if I continue with golden books, I'll make two of the golden books in one little telltale book in a bound style, like a sewn-in signature style. Because they're, they're spring, one of them is about a rabbit and one is about gardening. I don't remember what the little telltale book is. Oh, it's Red Riding Hood. But I would like to do those other, the spring um, golden books while it's still spring. So I'm just going to look for a little embellishment to put right there. I'll let you look with me. one of these corners would look like. I wonder what two of them would look like. I cut those with my big shot. It's got little pieces still in. They come out easily enough. I'm going to try glue stick instead of trying to get glue like get my wet glue on those little tiny pieces so hopefully the glue stick will hold it I'm using Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength Gotta be careful of those little curly edges. I'm 
I know these are going together quickly, but I already did the prep work of figuring out what I was going to do and cutting, finding the pieces and cutting them to size. So that helps. And I'm not being too particular about the embellishments because these are eclectic stash buster journals. So I can find my embellishments quickly. Let's see what this looks like in there now. Aww, that's adorable. I love it. I'm going to put a tab on that card. Got a bunch of tabs already punched in here. Guess I'm almost out of this glue, but I have another bottle waiting for me. I'm not inking things. And I'm just going to add this piece to the back. And I can embellish that further or add a journaling spot to it or something. But I did have this card to just clip on it. And it'll just, just be attached to it and then this will be bound into the book. So I had to cut this narrow enough that it would fit into the envelope even when it's bound into the book. I love that. The other one doesn't have a window so it will be much faster to glue stuff to it. I didn't glue this closed because it'll be bound into the book. For this one, I did glue the open end closed because this was a little wider. There was a little more space here um, on the other side of the window, so I could I can punch that. There wasn't enough room to punch over here. So I did glue that closed. So this one I'm just gonna leave like that. And I had this scrap of paper that was they were already sewn together and this was left over and I just cut it to size so I can glue it right there so it's already pieced and stitched and looks fun that way When the glue dries, I will use my circle punch to punch a thumb notch right there, but I don't want to do it while the glue is wet. And I just had this piece of sheet music in my scrap bin, put it on that side, there's ink on that side, which I wouldn't care about, but I'm going to use the cleaner looking side. I guess just because I'm not inking in these journals. There's a little tear here, but because I'm gluing it down, it won't matter. And the music is sideways. Because 
I couldn't cut it the other way because of the size of the paper, but that it doesn't matter. I have this card that was already cut and in my stash. It's just cut from a larger piece. It's got journaling spot on it, so I'll just put that inside. I'll add a tab to that also. And this will be the card paper clipped to it. And I can add some embellishments on this, but I won't do that today. Got this fun polka dot, which seems to go well with that paper. glue. I made a mess with the glue. It's probably dry enough now. This will be bound into the book and I might put a label or something on this, a blank label, or some sort of embellishment. And I have one more thing that I wanted to make. Oh, that would be cute on there, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. I have this one prepped. Um, but I'm going to cut this one so you can see what I did. It's not rocket science. This is a 12 inch, it was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I cut it to 5 inches in width. So I will do that for this piece. This is longer than 12 inches, so I'm going to cut that extra bit off so it fits on my paper cutter better. Five inches. Oops. And I didn't measure. I just folded it up. notch in it. And I didn't do the rest of the prep for this one, so I'm going to move on to this one. I It's double-sided, so I took the piece that's on the inside here, it's a glossy piece, and made a pocket out of that to put there and then just took another coordinating piece from a, a different scrap and I'll make a pocket on that side. You could take, I could take a piece of this and cut it to five inches. Let's try it. I'll just cut this piece five inches and it is seven inches. So if I fold it in half, it would give me a three and a half inch pocket on both sides. I could just do it like that. Then you have one, two, three pockets. This is the same, except I just use separate pieces of paper. I have one, two, three pockets. 
So first, I'm going to glue this one closed. And I think I'm going to trim this a little smaller, at least on the front side. I can leave the back pocket bigger. Yeah, I like that better. I'm going to offset this notch because I know I won't be able to line it up perfectly with that one. I don't want it to look weird. And I will probably put something on. These are pretty plain looking. So I will embellish that somehow. I'm going to burnish this crease. There, that makes it lay nice and flat. And this one isn't using scraps, but it is using a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I still have some left, but I can make journal cards or tags with that. And it's not a scrap buster journal, it's a stash buster. So I am using stuff from my stash. This one used a 12 by 12 paper, but I did use a scrap for that. This is an old Stampin' Up! paper, but the color is perfect for that peach. And then um, I will punch here and bind it right into the journal. I'm at 39 minutes, so I guess that's good. A good time for a video. I'm going to just look quickly to see if I find something really fast. This is cute. This is a stamp that I have or used to have. Uh, it's supposed to be like a button card, I guess. This cute little girl on it. That's really cute on there. I might use that. These came out of a kid's book. Let's look at those. We have Uncle Bob, Jumping Jack, Rooster, Rooster Pooster, 
and black sheep. I don't know. I'm going to leave them out. I might want to use them at some point in the books just because they're fun and quirky. I cut that out or punched it out in a circle that might be cute. Children's illustrations are always fun to use. So I guess I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm finding possibilities. came up with anything and if not I'll consider more later. Mm. I don't know if I have a punch big enough for that so I think I'm gonna fussy cut that out and maybe use that and maybe this number it doesn't look good there. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But you can see we have a variety of fun pages uh, with pockets and things like that to use in the journal in addition to just regular pages with no pockets. So these are really fun to make. Um, I hope you'll follow along to see what else we make to put in these um, Stash Buster O-Wire bound journals. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.